a well-chosen closing track can elevate an album, leaving listeners with a sense of resolution. It can provide a memorable ending that leaves an impact long after the music stops. In this video, we look at 10 albums with a perfect closing song. Red by Taylor Swift Taylor Swift's Red is a kaleidoscope of emotions, navigating the highs and lows of love, heartbreak and self-discovery. Begin again. The album's final track serves as a gentle and hopeful ending to the intense roller coaster of feelings that preceded. The song contrasts the album's earlier themes of heartbreak with its narrative of new beginnings. Set against a backdrop of acoustic guitars and delicate melodies, it captures the moment when hope re-emerges after the storm. It is a subtle reminder that even after the hardest falls, there's always a chance to start new. Begin Again was released as a single and performed well on the charts, reaching number 7 on the Billboard Hot 100. While it may not have been the most explosive hit from Red, it is the perfect closing note for the album. Sweetener by Ariana Grande Sweetener is an album marked by its light and airy production, intertwined with deep emotional undertones, largely influenced by the tragic events in Ariana Grande's life, including the Manchester bombing, Get Well Soon, the final track, is a hauntingly beautiful piece that feels almost therapeutic. It's a song about healing, mental health and the importance of self-care. The track is 5 minutes and 22 seconds long, paying respect to the terror attack. There's also 40 seconds of silence at the end as a tribute to those who lost their lives during the attack. The song has a meditative quality. It's not just a closing song. It's a moment of reflection and a comforting hug after an emotionally charged album. The song resonated deeply with fans who praised this heartfelt message and Ariana's vulnerability, which makes it the perfect closing track. Pure Heroin by Lord Lord's debut album Pure Heroin is a minimalist pop masterpiece that critiques fame, consumerism and the struggles of youth. A World Alone, the closing track, encapsulates these themes while offering a sense of solace and solitude. With lyrics like, people are talking, people are talking, but not you, the song underscores the idea of finding comfort in your own company, away from the noise of the world. The song paints a picture of a world where she is surrounded by shallow, fake and two-faced people including her friends. She feels isolated because she does not fit in with them. The steady beats and ethereal production create a hypnotic atmosphere leaving listeners with a sense of introspection. As the album fades out, it is the perfect bookend to an album that redefined pop music in the 2010s. Born This Way by Lady Gaga Lady Gaga's Born This Way is an anthem-filled celebration of self-acceptance, love and empowerment. The Age of Glory, the album's closing track, is a soaring euphoric anthem that captures the spirit of the entire album. Inspired by the death of Gaga's grandfather, the song is about living life to the fullest and embracing the moment. With its powerful saxophone solo and anthemic chorus, it leaves listeners on a high, making it the perfect closing track that embodies the album's message of living boldly. The Edge of Glory was a commercial success peaking at number 3 on the Billboard Hot 100. Its strong performance and lasting impact made it one of Gaga's most beloved tracks, further solidifying its place as a perfect album closer. Control by SZA SZA's Control is a deeply personal exploration of love, insecurity and the complexities of growing up. 20-something, the album's final track, is a stripped-down emotional ballad that captures the uncertainty and vulnerability of being in your 20s. With just an acoustic guitar, and SZA's raw and soulful voice. The song feels like a late night confession, filled with fears about the future and the fleeting nature of youth. She opens up admitting she does not have anything figured out. Her life feels messy, hoping she keeps all her friends and doesn't have her love life together either. It's a melancholic yet beautiful way to close an album that resonates deeply with anyone navigating the trials of adulthood. House of Balloons by The Weeknd the Weeknd's House of Balloons is a dark, brooding exploration of love, lust and self-destruction. It is The Weeknd's first ever project. The Knowing, the final track, is a haunting end to the mixtape, marked by its atmospheric production and powerful vocal performance. The song delves into themes of betrayal and regret, capturing the emotional turmoil 
that defines the entire project. With his layered vocals and introspective lyrics, the knowing leaves listeners with a sense of unresolved tension, perfectly meriting the mixtape's exploration of the darker sides of human emotion. House of Balloons is one of the best projects of the 2010s, and The Knowing is one of the best closers. It's an explosive end to the mixtape. Bad by Michael Jackson Michael Jackson's Bad is packed with hit after hit, but his final track, Man in the Mirror, stands out as a powerful and timeless anthem. The song is a call to self-reflection and social change, urging listeners to start with themselves if they want to make the world a better place. With this gospel-inspired backing vocals and emotional intensity, the song is not just a closing track, it's a statement. Its message and its place as the album's closer gives Bad a profound sense of purpose, ensuring that the album ends on a note of hope and inspiration. Man in the Mirror was a massive success, reaching number one on the Billboard Hot 100. It remains one of Michael Jackson's most iconic songs. 4 by Beyonce Beyonce's 4 is an album that blends personal introspection with bold declarations of love and empowerment. I Was Here, the album's closing track, is a powerful ballad that speaks on Beyonce's desire to leave a lasting impact in the world. The song's powerful lyrics and Beyonce's vocal performance make it a fitting conclusion to an album that explores themes of legacy and self-worth. The song resonates with this message of wanting to be remembered for making a difference, and it leaves listeners with a sense of purpose and reflection. Although I Was Here was not a major hit, it became an anthem for charitable causes and was notably performed by Beyonce at the United Nations General Assembly in 2012, further solidifying its legacy as a closing track that transcends the album. Purple Rain by Prince Prince's Purple Rain is an album that defies genre boundaries, blending rock, pop and R&B into a masterpiece. The title track Purple Rain serves as the album's epic finale, a 9 minutes epic that encapsulates the emotional depth and musical brilliance of Prince. The song's sweeping guitar solos, orchestral arrangement, and raw vocal delivery create an atmosphere of both melancholy and triumph. Purple Rain is not just a closing song, it's an experience that leaves listeners in awe of Prince's artistry. It was a massive hit, reaching number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100 and earning Prince an Academy Award. But best original song. The song's legacy is immense, often regarded as one of the greatest songs of all time and a defining moment in the legend's career. Hit Me Hard and Soft by Billie Eilish Hit Me Hard and Soft is Billie's latest album, released earlier this year. It's a 10 track album with no filler and one of the best projects of 2024. Blue, the closing track, is the perfect bookend to the album. It reworks two songs that she had previously written, True Blue and Born Blue. The first one, True Blue, was recorded by Billy and her brother Phineas when they were just 14 and 18 years old. The song leaked online and went viral on TikTok in 2022. Born Blue was the second song, and they started writing it for Happier Than Ever, but never finished it. Blue discusses the feeling of sadness and uses the melody that goes throughout the album to tie the tracklist together. The song did well on the charts speaking at number 25 on the Billboard Hot 100. What great closing tracks did I miss? Tell me in the comments below.